<sighs> Hello. Hey, homeboy. <laughs> oh, now my, my real homeboy from Bon Vivant, PA. I'm assuming PA means Pennsylvania, right? Okay, great. Uh, thanks for uh, for inviting. Uh, I heard from uh, from Dyslex and uh, and uh, Forrester. <laughs> okay, so the the replay will be around uh, anyway. Um, uh, uh, Forrester and Dyslex have my phone number, so uh, we're definitely going to do something major this weekend. Um, and uh so anyway here i am at the value in on uh on trace hermanas boulevard and if you don't know where that is you're like the rest of fucking odessa no one's heard of this place i i don't get it um uh apparently this hotel has been here for two years i mean sure new construction but it is it, it's it's been here two years Okay, great. Uh, thanks for uh, for the signal boost, uh, three guys. Uh, someone named W just joined, and uh, let me ex tell you about my experience with uh, the uh, the Midland Odessa metropolitan area. All of a sudden, the hearts stop. <laughs> As well, they might because I'm not impressed to tell you the truth. Get 15 new, new hotels a day. Yeah, okay, apparently you're like really building out the East End because this place is right off of uh, uh, Billy Hicks or uh, Billy Hicks Road, um, which everyone seems to have heard of. And it's on Route 119. It's right off the, the frontage road for 119, just east of 38. And it's a major intersection. Um, so, I mean, you'd think that the people who drive the fucking buses in this town would have heard of it, but they haven't. So, uh, so how did I get here if the bus drivers don't know where it is? <laughs> they weren't connected where, where I live. Yeah, well, um, funny you should mention uh, connected. Uh, so, Trax, the, the uh, West Texas. Hey, what's up? I am in Odessa. Odessa, Texas. Uh, so, uh, West Texas Opportunities Tracks drops me off at the Midland Park Mall, like they're supposed to, and uh, I'm waiting there for the uh, for the Easy Rider Connect bus to take me to uh, Stodessa. Oh, Slowdessa. <laughs> Now you come, Jazz. All right. So, uh, yeah, we, we got to get a, a, an epic uh, a scope going. Hola, que tal, amigo mio? Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I, uh, I get to the to the mall, and I've got like an hour and a half wait for the the next scheduled uh, connect bus. Jazz in the house. Well, it doesn't mean much to me now, but I expect it will soon. So, uh, I uh, was uh, so, so waiting around, and uh, one of the reasons I've been able to, to stream Dyslex, all right, uh, one of the reasons I've been able to, to stream from all these paratransit buses in lower bumfuck Egypt is because I have this MiFi device uh, from Verizon, that uh, that turns uh, just regular LTE or 4G signal or 3G signal into Wi-Fi. We need beer. I need a fucking beer intravenously at this point. It's been a rough day. It started out great, and and then I and then I got to Midland. So uh, anyway, like I said, I get to Midland and my and my Wi-Fi craps out. And, uh, but fortunately, I'm in a mall. So, yeah, there, there's going to be a Verizon store. Whoa! Oh, let me do something about that. So there's going to be a, a, a Verizon store. And as, as it turns out, there was a Verizon store. I'm going to get some light in here. Um, literally, 
uh, 10 feet away from where I was sitting uh, when I was uh, catching up with stuff. Leaving Midland now. That's exactly what to do if you find yourself there. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so uh, I go to the, to the Verizon store and uh, and they uh, they take a look at my uh, my MiFi and say and, 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 and the signal craps out sometimes sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and the screen is next to impossible to read and I'm two thousand miles into a forty one hundred mile expedition you'd think it would last this long no it didn't I mean I just bought this thing a month and a half ago right before I left. Okay, um, so yeah, I think Forrester is the same. Uh, three guys. Uh, it's uh, works in Midland, lives in Odessa. Okay, see, you forgot what you were talking about. I do that a lot. I'm 52. Okay, <laughs> it's the senior moments. It's a thing. I'm a 52 year old man on a 22 year old's journey. So you know, cut me some fucking slack, all right? Bon shit, samer. I think that's bon mied samer. You know, I got the smarts, makes up for the slows. <laughs> Anywho, uh, so the guy at the Verizon store says that they won't honor my warranty because I, I broke the screen. No, the screen is broken. Clearly the screen is broken. The screen is unreadable. But that is symptomatic of something else. I did not break the screen. So he says, well, you know, we're just a, a retailer. You can go to the Verizon store. It's about uh, a, a mile away. And I said, I'm on foot. And he says, oh, yeah. he points a direction and says, um, there's a Verizon store right over there. And if you're driving, it'll take a mile. If you're walking, it's a more of a straight shot. Okay. So like a sucker, I believe him. I walk out of the mall and, uh, and I ask Siri where the, the, where the Verizon store is. And she never heard of it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, hearts. Uh, and okay, I do forget that I am married <laughs> sometimes too. Mm, yeah, <laughs> no, <what> that's like. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, so anyway, uh, basically, what I'm hearing is that Verizon's not going to honor the warranty of of my MiFi, and so I wasn't able to uh, record uh, what what followed, which is why I'm doing the update here and now. Um, so, uh, anyway, Verizon's not going to honor the warranty. Okay, great. Well, I got to catch a bus. So I catch the, um, uh, the, the, uh, Easy Rider Connect bus. Um, and if you, if you take a look at, at what it says online, it's, um, it's a bus that connects you to Odessa, except it doesn't. And it costs a dollar 25, except it doesn't. So uh, it takes me as far as the airport, and I was supposed to, and, and I'm supposed to ask the driver for a transfer to get on, um, on the Odessa Connect bus. Apparently, so he says, "Oh no, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just point the bus out to you. You, you, you get on the bus I point to. So I get on the bus he points to when we get to the airport, and um, I get charged another buck twenty-five. So it's a dollar twenty-five to get halfway to Odessa, and then another dollar twenty-five to actually get to Ode Odessa." That's not what it says in the uh, in, in in the uh, online uh, brochure. So okay, it's it's a buck and a quarter. Not going to make a big deal out of it. But then uh, we're getting to the um, to the Music City Mall in Odessa, which is where all the buses come together. And uh, and and the bus driver asks me where I'm going. I'm, I'm saying the uh, Value Place Hotel um, on. Tracer Manus Boulevard, which is all I know about it. It's all I know of Odessa. I've never been to this town before today. And he says, I never heard of it. I don't know where it is. Get off of this bus, and in about 10 minutes, uh, the number four bus will pull up, and you ask the driver of the number four bus where this is. She'll know. So I wait around 10 minutes. Number four pulls up, and I tell her I need to get to Tracer Manus Boulevard. And she said, huh? Never heard of it. It's been here two years now. If you drive in a bus in the town, it's been here two years. I think it's kind of your job to know, but they didn't. And so uh, 
So anyway, uh, she asked me where it was, and I, I pulled out my phone. I, I, I did a Google map of it and showed her where it was on, uh, you know, just, just east of 38. And, uh, and she says, oh, you should have stayed on that bus. He's going back that way. He, he, you know, he, he could have dropped you off right, right along there. So, um, say, okay, but he told me to get off the bus and ask you. So she rolls her eyes and gets on the squawk box and calls him back and tells him to come around and pick me up and take me back. He says 10-4 and then freaking ignores her. And I see him driving back and forth along the ring road, running the, the rest of his route, and, um, and he doesn't stop to pick me up. And then he disappears. So, uh, so then he comes around um, at, at the, the next hour and sees me waiting for him. And in the meantime, I called um, his, his office and, and put in a complaint. So he was really, really apologetic. And you know what? I accept apologies. I accept apologies when you make an error in judgment if you make um, an error in execution, if you make an omission of some kind, the, you know, just a, a careless error, this guy's whole attitude, oh, thanks, you guys, you know, you, you don't have to apologize for, for, for one douchebag. And that's the thing is I, I, I can't forgive just being a general douchebag, just generally not caring. And that was, that was the vibe I got from this. He just didn't fucking care about his job, about the people who were getting on and off his his vehicle, who he was who he was responsible for, uh, that he wasn't the least bit curious about where I was going. He just wanted to push me off, make me somebody else's problem. Um, so uh, I, I can't forgive being an asshole. I, I can forgive making an asshole move, but he was consistent. And then when uh, when uh, the complaint department called me and they put me on hold, they they, they got a hold of him, and they got a hold of me and kept me on hold for a couple of minutes and got back to me and said, oh, he didn't understand that he was supposed to come back and pick you up. He thought it was just an informational thing. And I called bullshit on that. And I said, you know, before you accept that story, talk to the number four driver. She was there and I was there and we heard our side of the story. And we, we heard him acknowledge, we heard him tend for it. it it's, anyway, I'm here now. So the guy takes me back um, on, on the route and drops me off at the uh, Easy Rider stop a fucking block away from this hotel. He drives this route every fucking day. It's got one of those huge signs out front, you know, like 50, 60 feet high that says value place. He's passed it every day for the past two years, probably two or three or four times, and hasn't fucking noticed it yet. Cut me a break, man. A, so, so essentially, um, the Midland Odessa area has struck me as the place where things break down and no one feels it's their job to fix it and um, and just uh, go ahead heedlessly and carelessly. And, you know, one of you guys was president for eight years and brought that to a global scale. So uh, there's just like nothing to contradict that in my book. Um, okay, I'm getting too political here. Anyway, guys, uh, you... Uh, at least two of you got my number. I know you got each other's numbers. Uh, give me a call. Let's set something up for tonight or tomorrow night or Sunday night or any two of the three or all three of the three, um, as long as what happens Sunday night involves The Walking Dead. So um, that's it for me, William Friedman, cross-country local, one man on a mission to be the first person to go coast to coast across America uh, from the Atlantic to the Pacific using only local transit and... Uh, Follow me here on Periscope. Do what Three Guys One Mike did and invite your friends to follow me on Periscope. Um, do what Forrester and Dyslex did and follow me on um, on, on Facebook, Cross Country Local. Illiterate, perhaps? Who, me, the driver? <laughs> Half a Periscope? <laughs> um, Odessa sucks. And I'm from Texas. All right. Great. So, yeah, give me a call. And, um, and again, for, uh, for those of you not in the Odessa area, um, you can also follow the Cross Country Local on uh, Instagram and Twitter. Um, hashtag XC Local. That's X-Ray Charlie Local for Cross Country Local. 
and I will see you along the route and perhaps within the hour. Bye-bye.